G'day everyone, just want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year as well. I'm wearing my celebratory outfit because we had our last day at work today, so I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed um, than I have been in the last couple of months. So, there's a couple of bits and pieces that I don't know what to do with in terms of videos. Um, loose ends, odds and ends, I'm gonna throw them in this video. Um, you'll get a look at the other plays and you know some of the things we're thinking of doing. Um, but in the meantime, I just want to say thanks to all the supporters, also those that have supported me via Patreon, because that plays a big role as well in what I do. It allows me to do things that I shouldn't be able to do, um, given some of the you know constraints I've got. So once again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, hope you enjoy. Right, new garage, look at this. Actually quite, I think a reasonably poor design. We've got a very narrow carport that runs the full length, but I can't remember how long this thing is. To give you some idea of size, there's no lights inside. Um, there is an XA Falcon from South Oz or out in um, Western Australia somewhere originally on its roof. And you probably remember this one. Uh, Graham replaced the roof and did a sterling job. So this is here now for me to do. And I've decided to bring it to this premise because I've got too much stuff at home. And also there's a lot of room here. So couple of other cars are going to come up here as well. The checkered floor, unfortunately, is just vinyl. And I was a little disappointed because you drag a jack in it and it just, it'll tear. It's not really the right stuff. Um, I would like to concrete here and move that wall out to there and then put a carport around there for the kids. This is the house I bought for the kids. And this is the garage they're not having. So, looking like you'll fit four cars comfortably with room in between, or five at a squeeze. And, you know, this room under here as well. So, square meter is just probably bigger than the one I've got at home, um, once we sort of sort it all out. Um, first thing we got to do though, I thought that was a light, and it's a heater, and I don't want a heater in here. Most blokes up in the country have like pot belly stoves and all this sort of stuff. I'm more interested in doing this sort of stuff in the sort of warmer months. Um, he left a cupboard. He left all sorts of weird stuff. I bought a lead for here. I bought the fan that I put in the shed that we didn't use because I've got the big ceiling fan in the garage at home. That's the old dog food preparation table which we'll use for batteries. Um, and he just left bits of timber and all sorts of brooms and all sorts of stuff. So, how uh, lovely picture. I don't know what that is. That looks like the remains of a pyroclastic flow. Uh, so yes, XA's here. All the parts of the XA are at home. So this is going to be a cut shop. So we'll cut up the bits we need and get new beaver panels and all sorts of stuff for it. And I might start on the base of the A pillars as well. Uh, of course, I'm not starting this till after I finish the XC. So that's the new garage. I'll go into the corner here and give you a look at the size of it, which I think is really good. So very happy with this place. It's half an acre and absolutely beautiful like my two daughters over there um right so that's about it for now It goes faster than that too, it's actually quite quick. Check this thing out, I bought a compressor. Um, they left it here, I've been away. They left it here, right on the footpath, next to the footpath. And... Hopefully you can't see my dress on there. Um, it's been lying on its side. That's all oil. And I'm, the wheel, one of the wheels was underneath it. There's something underneath the front of it. There's a caster there. 
So I've taken photographs, if I need to, you know, I'm going to have to get in contact with the cell and say, what the hell is this? Right, time for me to have a bit of a yarn and a cup of tea. Oop, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, coming up to this box. That was that compressor that rocked up and I took a bunch of photographs of it. The electrical box and the motor's all smashed up, the grill's bent, the oil's everywhere. I haven't accepted it and I called the supplier. And he said in an email, I might get charged a handling fee or something and the freight company won't come if there's oil on it and all this. And I said, well, they did it. You know, they delivered it like this. If you don't refund it, I'll get a higher retail authority. Uh, this Merc had its rogue ready. It's had any muffler in the back. I did the calipers and discs in the front and the air pump and the water pump. And I ended up having to change the seat belts. That one's a bit twisted. Um, for the coupe ones, because the buckle was damaged on the passenger side, and this belt, when you pulled it right out, had a cut in it. And a few other little bits and pieces, washer blocked, and all this sort of business. So it's got to go back to have the ball joint. I'm not going to do the ball joint because I'm going to press here. I'm going to change those lights out for the Euro ones too, and then Charlie can drive that around. So, in you know, other news, I've got all the overhead gear ready to go in. This place is an absolute mess again because of blowing the fairland apart. So you can see there's stuff everywhere. Um, so I've got to organise some space for all these because I don't like it like this. Um, the car's in here now. So I've ordered some more parts for it. I've ordered the pit lights, the inner ones, and I'll send them off to Highquill. Um, I've actually found a proper XD... XE um, air cleaner and rock covers, and it wasn't cheap, but I've had it hydroed and etched it all. It's a bit of a minter, so um, I'm really happy about that because that stuff is very hard to get. You can get air cleaners with a little plastic thing, and people want $700 for them with a spray can rattle, what do you call it, a rattle can paint job. This one um, is mint and complete even with the oil filler cap and all sorts of stuff. So I was very happy with that. Uh, this will dry out. Before I pull this apart, I do have to um, start it and check the air conditioning. That's the one thing I do want to do, which I haven't done yet. Um, a little 302, more news again. Um, I'm very nervous about this. I will admit that I'm not happy with one of the heads. I'm worried that there was a bit too much corrosion in it. Uh, I don't know. Look, I'm going with it. I've put the heads on. The OB gear goes in today. I'll paint it. I've got to go to Milsom's and get some more of this um, this lovely black and just hope that it's okay. If it's not, heads come off again. Not a big deal because it doesn't owe me much. All of the expense with this has been in the bottom end. But it doesn't matter. It's just one of those things. I've had a lot of wins. If I get a loss, it doesn't matter. The rest of it, I'm about to start on this. Um, I'll pull the fair lane out. And I'll, I'll paint the both front guards here. I'm just checking with this. This is off the EJ. And it was off the front end. It was epitect. And I've been sanding it. I've just put some of this single back edge on to see if it sticks. I can't scratch it with my fingernail. But I can scratch it off with a razor blade. Um, I don't want it to come off easily at all. I want the adhesion to be pretty good. So... You know, it remains to be seen. I'm not doing anything until I work that out. Um, and then I want to get both of those front guards etched. Once they're etched, it's easy. I've got all the top coat and everything. I can paint that. I've got the headlights. I don't know what I did with the other one of those, but I'll find it. Uh, the two motorcycles are going up to the other property. And this one I can start and run. The only thing I want to change was the regulator slash rectifier thing. Um, the 350, I've got the rear brake line, finally. I do have to get a sprocket and chain for it, though. And then that's rideable. It's all good. And the rest of it's just the rest of it. I was working over here. <laughs> I've had another drive plate mounted on that. Pulled it off. Massive huntsman. I've got a fright. I threw it on there. And then realised I needed to get some stuff out of here. So, because I was prepared for it, I lifted it up. <laughs> and it was dead. 
Um, it's down there. It's all scrunched up. It doesn't show you the sheer size of the thing when I pulled it off. But anyway, it's got a few bits and pieces up here, a few spares, and you know. I can hang on to that stuff. There's a few more Fairlane bits there. Once we pull the engine out of the Fairlane, I can do the engine bay fairly quickly. I'm still building that place next door. Look how close it is. And I've reconfigured a bit of room in here. So that is about it in terms of news. The seller for the compressor ended up being pretty good. They gave me a full refund. I wasn't going to accept it the way it was. It was too damaged. And I've got... You know, those air cleaners and stuff took a bit of money, so I haven't bought the compressor. I didn't end up exchanging it. I got a full refund for it. And I was going to actually put that up in the other property, but I'll get something a little bit smaller. That was huge, I think. Um, but it was reasonable. It was a good price. So I'll get another one, take it up there. For doing home paint job type stuff, you need at least sort of 220 litres of air per minute fat. It's free air delivery. Um, that other thing had 370 or something, it was huge, um, which is good, but I don't need that. The other thing is, and I wanted to be able to paint some stuff up there and do other bits and pieces that I normally use the compressor for. So, I'm in the poor thing now, we've got Christmas in a few days. Um, I just wanted to touch base and say this is what we're doing. There's another engine video coming up very shortly, which there's two more. There's one where we complete it, get it all sort of sorted on the stand, and the next one after that is where we run it. The same sort of thing as Jason's. And then there'll be another Fairlane video in not too distant future. Um, and the next C update too. So I've got, I've been extraordinarily busy at work, but now I've got a bit of time over the summer, and I've also taken long service leave as well. Um, and that's in March. So I'll be sort of in and out of here but doing other stuff related to this as well. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base. I want to say thanks again for all the support this year and <clears throat> for the uh, YouTube supporting, um, for the YouTube supporters, sorry, and also to the Patreon people. Um, it's been fantastic. And I haven't had a lot of output this year at all. This is probably the least um, I've put on it. I've got some more plating back, just a sec. Like the dipstick, that TXA's um, throttle linkage. That's the dipstick. Got a couple of dipstick tubes, sorry for the C4. A couple of dipsticks there. I've also got all the column auto linkage stuff that I had done just as a matter of course because it was there. And it's all immaculate as well as the EJ's throttle shafts or throttle linkages as well. So that's all good. I've got to clean some of this up. I'm going to spend about an hour or so in here cleaning up today. It's just too messy and packing stuff in boxes and labeling it and all this sort of other stuff. I'm just, you know, random stuff like the Burke seat belts just sitting there and oh, I've got this one too. Cutting and shutting an air cleaner. This is before I found the other one. It was, it's a rusted out and I've got this one here which had the, all those cuts that I did when I was 19 inspired by an LJ GTR air cleaner which looks pox on this so I've cut that off and I'm going to cut and shut an air cleaner so I've got another base there I've got a good lid but that's what I was doing for the Fairlane before I found the other one but anyway look that's enough crap for me um, have a great Christmas New Year and I'll see you soon